Hey everybody, this is Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we're going to have part two of our guitar lesson for Glasgow Kiss by John Bertucci. Now this is going to kind of cover the verse, opening verse sections. So let's get right to it. Uh, you probably recognize this melody if you're learning this lesson at least. And it goes like this. So we have 13, 14, 16 on the G. Then hammer from 14 to 16. Then back to 13, 14, 16. 14, 13, over to 14 on D. Slide up to 16, then down to 12. We have Next phrase. And that's just 11, 13, 14 on the G. Then a half step in at the 13th fret. Then do the 11, 13, 14 again. To 13, to 11. Down to 12 on the D. And slide up to the 14th fret. Alright, then we have the same opening melody before. Same, the first half of it is identical, then we have this phrase. And that's just... Slide into the 16th fret on the G, over to 14, 15 on the B. And then do a quick hammer-on pull-off uh, from 14 to 15, and back down to 14. And then four, 16 to 14 on the G string, back to the 16th. And then slide that down to the 11th fret. Okay, so we have... Then we have... Which is... So that's just 14, 16, 18 on the G. Then bend that 16th fret up a whole step. And then play 14, 16, 18 again. Back down to 16 and 14. Then 16 down, slide to 12. All right, then we have this phrase. So that's just... Slide to 11 on the G, then go to 12, 14, 15 on the B. And then do a half step in at the 14th fret. Then he switches to the neck pickup and does this. It's a little pedal tone figure, so we have slide to the four, into the 14 on the G string, go 15 on the B, back down to that 14 on the G, and 17 on the B, back to the 14 on the G. Then 19 on the B, back down to the 14 on the G. And then do a whole step in at the 17th fret. Okay. Then we have this pedal tone figure. That's sliding into the 16th fret now. We've got to be the same pattern. It's going to be 17 on the B, back down to the 16 on the G. Then 19 on the B. Back down to 16 on the G. 21 on the B, down to 16 on the G. Then a half step in at that 21, 21st fret. Just kind of hold that. We have... That's just nine, uh, 19, 21, 22, back down to 21, 19, down to 17. Back to 19 and over to the 19th fret on the high E string. All right, then it goes back to the that we opened the song with, just the lower octave half of it. Then we get to the high part of the melody, which is going to start like this. Thank you. 
All right, so we have a slide to the 16, Nine, uh, 17, 19, then hammer on 17, 19. So it's just 17, I mean 16, 17, 19, back to 16 and 17. Just up and down. And then come over to the 17th fret on the B string and pick the 17th fret and slide it up to 19. And then slide out down to the 17th. The, I mean, the 15th fret, and then when you do that, you pick it a few times. Then we're at the 14th fret here, 14, 16, 17. Then a half step bend of the 16th fret. Uh, then he has this little lick he throws in there. There's some open strings in there, so we have 14, 16, 17. Then an open E string, then the 16th fret, then the open E, then the 14th fret. So good. They come over to the 15th fret on the G, I'm mean, sorry, the B string, and slide up to the 17th fret. Then we have this little phrase. So that's going to be. 16 on the G to 17 on the B, back to 16 on the G to 19 on the high E, back to the 16 on the G to 17 on the high E. Then we have 16 on the high E, 19, 17, 19 on the B. Back to that 16 on the high E string, then 17 on the B, 16 on the G. It's kind of a D major figure there. But obviously here would be E major. Then back to 17 on the B, 19 on the high E, 16 on the high E, then 17 on the B. And back to that same opening, notice that we started this high part of the verse. Then we come all the way up here, which is just 19, 21, 22, back to 21, back to 19. And then slide down to the, the 17th fret and pick 19 and slide it down to the 14th fret. And you pick that. Then we have this is 17, 19, 21. Then a whole step bend at the 19th fret. Then 17, 19, 21, back down, 19, 17. Then 17, slide to 21 and back down to 19. All right, then we have a little different section here. All right, so we have 19, I mean, sorry, 11 on the G to 12 on the B. Well, once again, we're going to be doing a lot of pedal tones here. So we're here at the 11 on the G, every count, we're going to keep coming back to this. We have 12 on the B, 14 on the high E, 12 on the high E. Kept coming back to that 11. Then we have 10 on the high E, 14, 12, 14 on the B, back to 10 on the high E. So we have 12, 11, 12, from the B to the G. Then we start the arpeggios, which is just uh, right here we have a B minor arpeggio pulling off from 14 to 10 on the high E to 12 on the B string, and then A major arpeggio pulling off from 
12 to 9 with 10 on the B string. And then we have an, another A major arpeggio up here, first inversion. So we have pulling off from 12 to, I mean 17 to 12. And then 14th fret on the B. Next phrase. So that's going to be, now the pedal tone is going to be the 14th fret on the G to 15 on the B, 17 on the high E, 15 on the high E. Then the look, the same pattern here, 14 on the high E, 17, 15, 17 on the B, back to 14 on the high E. Then 14, 15, 14 across the B and the G string. Then back to the arpeggios. So it's first, there's always a pull off here. We, right here, we have a D major arpeggio pulling off 17 to 14. And then play 15 on the B string. Then we have an E major arpeggio. We're going to pull off from 16 to the, set, to the 12th fret on the high E. And roll over and grab the 12 on the B string. Slide into this 19th fret here. We have another E major arpeggio here, pulling off from the 19th fret to the 16th, and play the 17 on the beat. The last phrase, I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna have, we have the pedal tone is gonna be off the 18th fret now, to 19 on the B. 21 on the high E, 19 on the high E. Then the little picking phrase will be 17 on the high E, 21, 19, 21 on the B, back to 17 on the high E. Then we have this 19, 18, 19, I'll cross the B and the G. We start the arpeggio. Okay, so we have this arpeggio here, which is an F sharp minor arpeggio, pulling off from the 21st to the 17th fret to the 19th on the B. Then we have a full sweep arpeggio across five strings. It's going to be an E major sweep, by the way. Pulling off from uh, the 19th fret to the 16th fret on the high E. 17 on the B, 16 on the G, um, 18 on the A string, I mean the D string, and then 19 on the A string. So we have, it's all one downward mo uh, upstroke. Then you're gonna start back with that same note you just stopped on with a downstroke this time and go Cross those exact same notes and, and now in a downward motion. And then upstroke on that last, that 19th fret on the high E. All right, then we have some pull offs to open strings. So that's just going to be pulling off from 17 to open. We're always going to be pulling off to the open B string here. To the 19th fret, then 17th. Then 16, 14, 12, 10, 9, 7. Now you might want to use the maybe your push your uh, in your middle finger here on the top high E string so that doesn't ring out while you're picking while you're pulling off. You don't even have to pick that, and you can use your pick on the third string there to mute that and just hold everything there so you. hammer on and pull everything off. All right, and then it gets to the the high version of the opening lick that we did. Okay, and then it takes us to the next section of the song. All right, so I'll see you guys then.